so yeah my fellow travelers you can visit darjeeling for a four day trip within 4000 rupees well i have recently visited darjeeling and i have curated my own expenditure plan for two kinds of people so the first one are the people who are traveling alone and the second one are the people who are traveling in group of even number of people so let's straight away go to our expenditure plan so as we know in our travel we have to bear our three biggest expenditures that is our stay our travel and our food so let's talk about stay so i had stayed in the cheapest hotel of darjeeling which you can also call a hostel uh, which is named by darjeeling home in booking.com and if you search that hotel in google maps you will find that by the name of uh, benu's homestay and it was a fantastic place to stay with the mesmerizing view of the mountains around and the chilling weather I have made a separate video regarding the experience of this place so you can go and check it out as well. The cost of one person staying per night is as minimum as 250 rupees. If you're traveling as a family then you can also stay there as they have a separate floor of the whole property just only for the family members. As this hotel is in Lebong which is approximately 1 to 1.5 kilometers from the Darjeeling city center you can take a taxi which costs you around 30 rupees to reach from Darjeeling to that hotel if you are one of those guys who want to stay at exactly the city center of Darjeeling or even at the mall road then I've got you covered man when I went to Darjeeling I have got all these hotel cards with me these are all different hotel cards near Mal Road of Darjeeling if you want to know about all these cards so I'll post the pictures of these cards in my Instagram account so go ahead and follow my Instagram and check out those card links and these hotels even include the cheapest hotels that starts from 800 rupees to even 18,000 rupees a night so now let's talk about our second biggest expense that is travel so this trip plan is for four days and my suggestion to you as a budget traveler is that you should hire a bike for four days to explore about the different places of Darjeeling. So the bike rental cost in hilly areas is quite high and you might have to pay 1000 to 1100 rupees a day now since you are having a group of two that cost gets divided into two the petrol cost for me was approximately 100 rupees a day so you can have a total traveling cost of 600 rupees a day now if you're going alone then you have to bear the whole cost on yourself so that becomes 1100 rupees a day for you now there's a quick hack for you if you're going with a group of four or six rather than taking a scooty or a bike you can hire a taxi on yourself that would cost you around 1100 to 1200 rupees a day and that would obviously be divided into four or six people depending on your group size and that would reduce your cost of traveling for the day now let us come to the third part of our traveling expense that is food now if you're not a very big fan of uh, fancy restaurants or fancy cafes at hilly areas then you can easily easily carry off your food expense at just 150 to 200 rupees a day now I will highly highly recommend these three food options if you are going to Darjeeling these are the local foods one is Khusra second one is Thukpa and the third one is very famous Momos so I have tried all these three things and these were delicious so I must insist you all as well to try this at least once so now let's talk about some of the places that you can visit there in Darjeeling including some of the hidden gems of Darjeeling so I've been to Darjeeling for four days and me and my friend visited all these places listed down in these four days among these places I would highly recommend Lepcha Jagat as one of the hidden gems of Darjeeling that none of the tourists go and explore but I highly highly recommend you to explore that place it is merely wonderful and mesmerizing to visit this place you can even see Mount Kanchanjunga from there and I would recommend you to visit this video if you want to know more about Lepcha Jagar. Now lastly some tips and tricks from this known engineer while visiting Darjeeling. So my first tip is that do not book or rent a scooty in Darjeeling because the power of the engine of a scooty is not that much that would carry a load of two people in those hilly elevations. We had booked a scooty and that's why I can tell you about this that we had a lot of problems while going uphill the roads and that's why I recommend you to hire a bike even if that costs 100 rupees extra per day. Now my second tip is that that do not do not do not trust on Google Maps within the Darjeeling city well it is okay once you get outside the Darjeeling city or once you catch the NH road so now let's quickly sum up the expenses that you have to bear if you are going as a group of two so the stay would be 
thousand rupees for four nights. The travel would be two thousand rupees for four days and two hundred rupees for petrol. And lastly, six hundred rupees for food expenses. So as you can see, the total expenses comes down to less than four thousand rupees. Now let us see if you are going alone. Then similarly, your cost for stay would be one thousand rupees for four days. Your travel would enhance to be. Four thousand rupees for four days, four hundred rupees for four days of petrol, and food would be same as six hundred rupees for four days. Now, if you sum up that, that comes out to be six thousand rupees for four days. And lastly, if you have got some value, some information from this video, then do consider clicking on that subscribe button and support the channel as well.